Yo, what's going on? It's Jason Kaplan. I got a question recently from a reader of mine who wanted to know how can I be more comfortable talking about sex with girls. I thought this was a really good question because naturally, the more often you can just talk about sex with girls in a very like nonchalant kind of chill way, the more they're going to be associating sex with you. Okay. General rule: the more you casually, playfully, nonchalantly, indifferently, coolly talk about sex with girls, the more sex you will have with. Girls, okay. The number one way for you to become really comfortable talking about sex with girls is to really become very sexually confident. And the way you do that is by getting really fucking good at the fucky fucky, okay? Getting really good at sex. If you're really good at sex, you're gonna be much more confident and comfortable talking about sex. So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you here. You can, you know, if just get really good at all things sex. It's like the greatest advice I can give you. If there's you know, one thing that you're going to learn over the next 90 days, get fucking awesome at sex. By the way, if you're like 15, um, I know some parents might get fucking mad at me or something for telling their 15 year old to get good at sex or whatever. I'm not condoning that. This message here, adults 18 and older, okay? 18 and older, get really good at sex. 18 and younger, I don't know. Read a book, drink green juice, go to the gym, be fucking awesome. Worry about it later. Maybe, okay? Maybe. But if you're over 18, Get really good at sex, be totally comfortable with it, understand that it's everywhere, it's abundant, you're not attached to it, you talk about it like it's the weather or you know the X games you watched on TV last night, it's no big fucking deal. And of course, when you're talking about sex with girls, don't bring it up by talking about their sex. If you bring it up talking about their sex right away, you will make them uncomfortable. However, if you start talking about other people's sex or just sex in general, notice if it's like me and her talking about other people's sex or just sex in general. It's not either of us. It's not going to put pressure on either of us. We're just talking about those things. It's like we can stand here, look out in the world, talk about sex, joke about it, tease about it, whatever. That's going to make it really easy, natural, and comfortable for her to talk about that sex with you. And then you can, once you're talking about it there, then you can bring it back, then you can tease her a little bit, and then you can take it away again. Okay? Talk about their sex, and then you bring it to her, you tease her for a second, and then you go, seriously, how did you bring up sex right now? Like, we're in public, okay? I'm a good boy. I don't just talk about sex with anyone. Like, seriously, you need to chill and then look away or change the subject or whatever. So, you can talk about sex, tease her a little bit, and then blame it on her and take it away. Like, why are you talking about sex right now? Like, I don't even know how we got on this subject. Seriously, you have such a dirty mind. Anyways, let's like talk about something a little more PG, all right? I'm getting a little uncomfortable. You kind of playfully play like that, okay? And all that communicates to her is, wow, this guy must be really confident. He's really sexually confident. He doesn't even feel like he has to talk about sex with me, even though when every other guy, eventually talks about sex with me. He tries to stay on it and he tries to get all creepy. And this guy talks about sex, teases me with it, tells me that I couldn't handle him and then he blames it on me and says I brought it up and then he takes it away. He must be fucking awesome at sex. He's super sexually confident. He must have a ton of sexual options. Hmm. Boom, boom, check, check. Yeah, she wants to fuck him, okay? She wants to fuck you. That's how this shit works. All my Team Capital dudes know what's going on. So, filming this on a Monday. Hope you had a wonderful Monday. Hope your Tuesday shits on today. Hope it's that fucking good. I'm going to make sure mine is too. Have a good night. Peace, dude.